Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Alina. Pumpkins are in season and we all know how pumpkins are loaded with vitamins that boost immunity. Today I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin kheer or pudding. Now this is perfect dessert for this winter. So without wasting any time, let me quickly take you over through the ingredients so that we can get started with the recipe. I have 200 grams of grated pumpkin here. 5 to 6 tablespoons of sugar depending on how sweet you like it. A cup and little bit of like a cup and maybe two tablespoons more of milk, some kevra water, raisins, cashew nuts, and some cardamom powder. Apart from this, you'll also need a little bit of some clarified butter or ghee to saute the pumpkin and the dry fruits. Let's go ahead with the recipe now. So, into a pan, I added around two teaspoons of some ghee or desi clarified butter. To this, I'm going to add in a few cashew nuts and saute them till they get nice and roasted with a golden colour. Just going to add in a few raisins as well. So the cashews have roasted and the raisins have puffed up as well. I'm going to remove this from the pan now. Now to the same pan which has the ghee, I'm going to add in the grated pumpkin. I'm going to put this on sim, shut it with a lid and let this cook in its own steam for around 2 to 3 minutes. So the pumpkin has been cooking in its own steam for the past 2 minutes and if you notice it changed slight colour. Now to this I'm going to add in some sugar. Now this again depends on how sweet your pumpkin is. If your pumpkin is sweet you don't have to add a lot but otherwise 5 to 6 tablespoons is what we're looking at. Once you add the sugar, you notice it starts releasing little water and moisture. So that will help the pumpkin cook further. Once the sugar dissolves, I'm going to add in half cup of some whole milk. So I'm going to let this cook for around 5 minutes till this gets a little thick in consistency. Meanwhile, that, while that's cooking, I'm going to add in a little bit of some green cardamom powder and a few drops of some kevra water. You can add rose water as well. So while the pumpkin kheer is coming together and it's getting a little thick in consistency, I'm going to add in the roasted dry fruits that what we've roasted earlier. So the pumpkin has absorbed all the milk and it, it's become nice and thick. So at this stage, I'm going to turn off the flame and transfer this into a serving bowl. Now you can make the most use of pumpkins this winter by trying out such yummy treats. You can serve this warm on a chilly winter night and enjoy it. If you like the video, then please do give it a thumbs up and also do share the recipe with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys next week with another new recipe. Until then, bye!